Krabby Bill here in the truck heading for Krabby's Mountain Spot. Uh, true to form, got in the truck, started heading here, and it started to rain. But uh, hopefully that's not going to last for long. Hazard reported ahead. It feels like it's uh, clearing, although there are some uh, dark clouds up there. And uh, making an appearance at Krabby's Mountain Spot this weekend is. Herself. Not only her, Quinny, and down there somewhere is the Pipsqueak Riley. But we're heading on up there. Again, as always, always have some projects to do. Nothing real crazy. Uh, just want to go up there and have a nice, relaxing weekend. Crabby, uh, when I told her I was going up here this weekend without any. Uh, force or prodding or anything she said well i'll go with you so here we are we're in a truck we're heading for Krabby's mountain spot we'll, uh, we'll check back with you in a little bit ah! well Krabby bill here we made it to the trailers and of course we get here and uh you know it's always uh something to keep it interesting um picked up a pizza and some wings from uh, Antonio's in Whitehaven, by the way, best pizza and wings around. Uh, got here and apparently the main breaker had tripped uh, for some unknown reason. And uh, the trailers had no power. Uh, so the refrigerator had no power, which means that my beer is warm. Uh, and my frosted mugs have defrosted. So once we get over that tragedy, uh, things should get a little bit better. Krabby's uh, unloading and uh, one of the interesting things is here on that weather station that I installed. I'll try to bring this camera over to show you. Showing two and a quarter inches of rain today. And almost 18 inches total so far for this year. That's a lot of rain. But we're here. Uh, we got the little puppies with us. There's Riley. She knows there's something out there to chase. And then uh, we have Quinn here who will be in the way the entire time. She will just lay right there, although I put her bed out for her. And she'll just keep trying to climb up on a sofa and laying in front of the bed. There's Riley waiting for snacks. Say hello, Riley. Okay, that's enough of that. She'll eat the camera. All right, so here she is. Hi, everybody. See that? She finally got to speak. She got a speaking part. We'll check back in a little bit. I got to uh, show you what I brought up here. Uh, I got some beer and steaks and all that kind of stuff. And once uh, we get things a little more situated, I'll show you what we brought. All right, so let's take a look here see what we got. We'll start with the beer. How's that? So Krabby picked me up a 12 pack of uh, Perpetual uh, Tropes, Perpetual IPA. It's pretty good, that's a 7.5. And then got a couple of these uh, Dogfish Head, Flesh and Blood IPAs. Got some Founders All Day IPA, some Brooklyn Lager. And then we have some Terrapin. It's a, a little mixture back here. It says uh, Recreational Air Session IPA. Obviously, you can tell this time of the year I like to drink the IPAs. Um, hopefully, they'll get cold soon because I can use one now after all that running around, climbing around. But Krabby sent up some... Oh, man, we got more than enough food here. We got uh, corn on the cob, shrimp, lobster tails, and steaks with salad cheesecake for dessert for tomorrow for dinner uh, looks like she brought up some uh, some breakfast stuff we got some potatoes there Let's make some fried potatoes uh, looks like she brought a couple things of uh, margarita for herself we got hot dogs we got bacon oh hot dogs are for the dogs I just found out you know what I should know that if I ever fed them I would know these things but we even got some Miller Lite shoved in the back here Obviously, uh, I'm not going to drink all that beer. I don't want you getting the wrong idea about me. 
but I will uh, I'll probably have one or two of each one of those in there tomorrow during the course of the day uh, don't worry I don't plan on driving uh, other than going to the store the one time with Krabby in the morning so right now I'm gonna sit down I want to try to get one of these beers cold and uh, I'm going to sit here with Krabby. Here she is again. And uh, got the air conditions on. I'm going to find something to put on the TV. Have a couple slices of pizza and a boing or two. And uh, it's 10 o'clock. So I guess uh, probably the next time we hear from us will be Saturday. Krabby Bill here. Up bright and early this morning. Even Krabby's up. There she is. Cleaning everything. Trying. Yeah. Uh, you know, she got up this morning and first thing, oh, I'm going to jump in the shower. <laughs> Don't get no showers around here until the work's done. Finally have the hot water hooked up, the cold water hooked up. I don't want to uh, jinx it by saying anything further about that. But uh, Krabby's over here. She's getting ready to uh, use an item that I don't know that has ever been used up here. The toaster oven. She's going to make us a couple of bagels for, I guess it's brunch, since breakfast was over hours ago when I got up. Uh, so I'm looking at brunch now, I guess. But uh, getting lots done. We'll check back. How's that for a breakfast from Krabby? Or let me correct myself, brunch. Looks like I got some company for uh, my brunch here. Trailers with dogs. Doing there, Krabby? Pulling weeds. Pulling weeds. The yeah. Survive the winter. Where are they at? Let's see. So, what we got here? We'll die here. Gotta get the rake out. A lot of There's some hidden in there. Stuff. Lots of weeds. Yeah, I don't know whose responsibility it was for the last last year to keep keep this stuff clean here but whoever it was failed yeah was already injured had to get a band-aid what's that already injured had to get a band-aid what happened something in here has got spikes on it spikes what do you mean spikes is there a railroad track in there blood. get the heck out of here i showed it to you yeah that wasn't blood what was it so you're just trying to get out of work. done for today I got a uh, little path cut in here a little path cut in there and got uh, the grass all mowed one of the uh, things that I wanted to do was clean the two trailers and uh, that armor all house cleaner, so I think that's what it's called. It's in a green container, and it works like a charm. Spray it on once, spray it on a second time, let it sit for a while, and uh, man, it comes up nice. So, 
I still got uh, some things to put away, but uh, got a lot of work done. Uh, here's the thing. I'll find out if my son is watching this uh, video because I guess he's about to find out. I'm considering selling that trailer there. That's a uh, 1989 Sunline Star Ray, uh, two bedrooms, everything in it works. Uh, I try to maintain the roof, but I do, uh, it does have a, a leak that I just saw in there. And I think that's what's going to cause me to get rid of it because I'm tired of working on the trailer. We're keeping it, uh, keeping it nice and clean. The inside is uh, really nice. I ripped out some of the ceiling and put some uh, quarter inch uh, Luan plywood up in there. Uh, because it had leaks so but it, it does need some uh, some work on the ceiling but uh, comes from a little neighbor always uh, always waving hello nice kid but looks like we're done working for today we're going to uh, Throw some burgers on the grill. But, uh, if you're interested in the trailer, leave a comment. Crabby and I picked up these um, mason jar solar lights from Amazon, and uh, not too bad. We just got them out of here charging up. Although uh, as soon as I took them out of the box, they had enough charge on them just to uh, show that they were working. I don't know where we're going to hang them just yet, but uh, not even sure what they're called. Directions are there. Gigalumi mason jar solar lights. We'll see. So they work. Come over to check out Krabby's uh, gnome garden. All the weeds are pulled. Looks like some of the gnomes have been located and put in there. A lot of the weeds are out of there. All those little sprouts are um, marigold seeds and some other seeds from plants that I pulled from Krabby's bar down in North Wildwood. And I threw in there. Well, uh, See they're sprouting here. See the some of the gnomes hidden in the in the bush here. Pretty good. Nice job. Alright, so you know this is one of my favorite parts about camping. I uh a couple of steaks on the cast iron, some shrimp, some lobster tails, some corn on the cob. Crabby's Mountain Spot. Gotta love it. I love camping. All right, here we are. Crabby's Mountain Spot. Steaks, shrimp, lobster tail, corn on the cob. Little Trogues, Perpetual IPA. Look at that. Here we go. Lights look good.
I think we should get some more and hang them from the trees out there. Because it sure is dark out there. Crabby Bill here, on our way back to Philadelphia. It's uh, this early afternoon. We're uh, getting out of Dodge because we got some bad weather coming. Of course, got heavy winds, hail, uh, some good thunderstorms heading that way. So we're getting out. We're gonna go home, get some dinner, get ready for uh, final episode of Game of Thrones, and uh, hopefully uh, it'll be an uneventful ride. Uh, we'll check back with you. <laughs> There's your big chance. Thanks for watching. Say goodbye, Riley. <laughs>